here are large dilated vascular spaces lined by uh, thin amounts of smooth muscle, which means they are veins. They are dilated congestin veins. They are underlying a squamous mucosa. Uh, they are from the anal area. This is by definition hemorrhoids. There are two kinds of hemorrhoids. There are external hemorrhoids and internal hemorrhoids. And uh, classically, uh, external hemorrhoids are underlying squamous mucosa. And internal hemorrhoids classically underlie columnar mucosa. And the transition between the columnar mucosa and the shiny or squamous mucosa is another squamo-columnar junction in our body called the pectinate line. The uh, external hemorrhoids in the distal anus are more superficial and usually more visible. The internal hemorrhoid and they drain into the uh, inferior vena cava directly. The uh, internal hemorrhoidal vessels are uh, drain into the portal system and uh, they are on the other side or the columnar side of the uh, pectinate line. Please notice for uh, lack of a better, uh, please notice that in order to make things uh, more simple we'll just call all of these dilated blood vessels in the region uh, hemorrhoids. Please notice uh, that even though there are some cells collecting in some of them, this is probably not a true thrombosis, and for the most part, all of these vessels are just large uh, dilated vascular spaces. The general cause for hemorrhoids uh, are basically uh, increased uh, valsalva, straining at the stool, increased abdominal pressure, uh, the same types of things that generally cause hernias. Uh, also notice these are not thrombosed and uh, it is one of the most common afflictions of uh, humanity. Thank you very much.